something that is important in the formaldehyde exposure and in doing embalmings is the STEL and the PEL test. So these are the permissible exposure level um, and it is something that is monitored within the United States for exposure of an employee to certain chemicals. So you can find this in several different vocations and different businesses. So in the funeral home, this is something, so in the preparation room, um, OSHA monitors this and they began this act back in 1970 and I'm checking my notes on this stuff because it's things that I've done for so long but I want to make sure some of these facts I give you are right on. So PEL is given as a time-weighted average. There is also the STEL that is a short-term exposure limit. And so you could wear both in and the PEL you then expose the whole time you're in the preparation room embalming. But then the STEL you would do for a certain specific period, say 15 minutes, where you would expose the reactor and then you would cover it after 15 minutes and so it would be dependent on how much was absorbed during just that 15 minute period and the other would be a time weighted average over the course of the whole exposure. So they established, OSHA established an action level, a PEL level, and a STEL level. The action level is 0.5 parts per million of formaldehyde. The PEL level is 0.75 parts per million of formaldehyde and the STEL level is 2 parts per million over a 15 minute interval. So they've established these guidelines and if it goes outside above those guidelines then they go back to the employer and they cannot use that preparation room until the air movement in the room is uh, corrected so that that then will give a uh, accurate and acceptable limit of the parts per million of formaldehyde. Now glutaraldehyde is not covered under the OSHA formaldehyde law. So glutaraldehyde, which is in a lot of new formula or solutions of fluid, it doesn't um, it doesn't get monitored by the system. So that's why a lot of fluid companies are switching over because there's not as great of exposure to that formaldehyde in the glutaraldehyde. So this is the STEL and the PEL test and it is one thing that OSHA monitors within the formaldehyde laws over funeral homes. STEL and PEL.